Right hello everybody, Ingus Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, I think everybody knows if you subscribe to my channel that I use a lot of the OX equipment. It's 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 no secret on this channel anymore, so I'm not even gonna start explaining, you know, why I use it anymore and stuff. But I've had a lot of questions, okay? The OEX Bush Pro Bivy Bag or the OEX is it Salamander Hoop Bivy. It's still the Bush Pro range. And a gentleman asked me and I started looking through some of the comments and you know I started replying to a few people and they've all basically asked me to do the same thing. They said, you know, would you mind doing a side-by-side -side video so they don't have to have two different videos playing at different times, they can have it in one to make their mind up then. Well, why not? The viewers are helping grow my channel. So the viewers are my channel as well. So I'm here to show you things. If you want to see them, I've got time. I'll come out and show you them. Now, I'll always come out with the pros and cons of each item, dislikes, likes about them. First of all, if we get the salamander hoop divvy out, and we'll look at this one, well, there's a bit of a problem is, the pole is very, very tightly fitted. So you do have to start bending it around quite a bit, but you do have to be careful it doesn't break. One single hoop, pole hoop, sorry. And that'll go over the hatch of the uh, hoop bivvy. And then the bivvy bag, it's oh. simple. You just pull it out. And that is job done. Right, so silk time. Pull it out of the sack. Stick it on the floor. This took 30 seconds. Different times putting all your equipment in, you know, your sleeping bag or your other bits and bats, you know, like your mats and stuff. But yeah, just to get this out, stick it on the floor. 30 seconds. When you're in it, just say, uh, you're a little bit cold at night. It's got these jaw strings there. And one at each side like that. So you could pull them in. Right, so there you go, you've got to pull these legs out, you know, just spread it out nice and even. So you've got two there, and then you've got your vent here, what runs off into the ground. If you want your vent down, you can have it down. Your vent's just there, it's a really small vent. Right, so I'll quickly show you this, but I don't want to show you too much, because I don't want to have this video too long when there's, you know, a full review video of it. You've got some pin-out points here with shorter legs. Pull these off. And you fully unzip it all the way to the end. And you can just roll this up here. And you'll get that to pin it out. I hope you can see that on the camera. That lifts it there. And then you'll get another set of zips on the opposite side. To undo your mosquito net. Once again, you can just pull that round, clip it in place there if you want. <clears throat> so, you set out time for this. I'm going to say five minutes, maybe a little bit less. Depends what, you know, if you're in a rush, you could do it in three minutes, but nice steady going, five minutes, nice and easy. Like I said, uh, they both got the pros and cons to them, but this one, in case it rains, is probably a little bit better. What I like about this hoop bivy is it's low profile, it's nice, got this nice camo greeny look to it. Inside the door part, it's double layered, so even though it's nice and bright outside, it's nice and dark on the inside. So these summer mornings, 
you're not going to be woke up, let's say, at half four, five o'clock. You might get a bit better of a sleep into about maybe seven, eight o'clock. But yeah, it blocks off all the light as well. Which do I think is the best? Do I like the normal bivy bag from OEX or do I like the hoop bivy from OEX? Now to be truthful with you, I could say it's 50-50, but 40-60 to the bivy. The reason why that is because I think I can go in smaller places where I want to be less seen with the uh, bivy bag, I can stick a sleeping bag in it, a sleeping mat, and I can get, you know what I mean, don't you? It's more stealth camping, having this setup, even though it's low profile, and the pack down size is different as well. This is a lot more smaller pack down size, so 60, 40. The 40 on this is, <clears throat> yeah, I've had some condensation build up inside it before, I think most hoop bivvies, you, you get that anyway. I know some people might say you don't, but I've spoke to a lot of people and you do get a lot of condensation in, in other hoop bivvies as well. Like you would in, you know, small one-man tents. But still, this is all right if you're gonna come up woodland for night, like if I want to camp out tonight, nice low profile. If it rains, it's waterproof, it, you know, there's no worries about it. Yeah, with this, if it's gonna be raining night, you might need to get a tarp with it. That is my honest opinion. Now, if you one of the people who's asked me, I hope this video has helped you. If it has helped you and you're looking at either one of them, do hit that subscribe button, press the bell button, and you'll be notified every time I do upload a new video. So remember, 60, 40. Just because this is packed down smaller, I can get to better place without being seen or extremely low profile. And it's just lighter as well. 60 40. So there you go, that's all I've got to say. At end of the screen here, there will be some cards popped up, one of each review of them. You can check that out and please, no questions, why is all my equipment OEX? Because I just will not answer that question anymore. So I'm gonna get off. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with another review video, and it's not some of OEX either. <laughs> I'll see you then. Check these out here. Press here and it'll subscribe to my channel.